Hi students, I am Pramit Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the topic, the object-oriented paradigm. The object-oriented paradigm took its shape from its initial concept of a new programming approach, while the interest in design and analysis model came much later. The first object-oriented language was Simula, that is simulation of a real system, that was developed in 1960 by researchers at Norwegian Computer Center. In 1970, Alan Kay and his research group at Xerox Park created a personal computer named Dynabook, the first pure object-oriented programming language OOPL. Small talk for programming the Dynabook was introduced. In 1980, Gradybook published a paper titled Object-Oriented Design that mainly presented a design for programming language ADA. In the ensuing edition, he extended his idea to a complete object-oriented design method. In 1990, COAD called incorporated behavioral ideas to object-oriented methods. The other significant innovations were object modeling techniques OMT by James Rumbok and object-oriented software engineering OOSE by Eva Jacobson. So now we are going to discuss about the object-oriented analysis, that is OOA. The object-oriented analysis is a procedure of identifying software engineering requirements and developing software specifications in terms of a software system's object model which comprises of interacting objects. The main difference between object-oriented analysis and other form of analysis is that in object-oriented approach, requirements are organized around objects which integrate both data and functions. They are modeled after real-world objects that the system interact with. In traditional analysis methodology, the two aspects that is function and data are considered separately. Grady Book has defined OOA as Object-oriented analysis is a method of analysis that examines requirements from the perspective of the classes and objects found in vocabulary of the problem domain. The primary task in object-oriented analysis that is OOA are identifying the object, organizing the object by creating object model diagram, defining the internals of the object or object attributes, defining the behavior of the objects that is object actions, and finally describing how the object interacts. The common models used in OOA are use case model and object models. When it comes to the object-oriented design, the object-oriented design that is OOD it involves implementation of the conceptual model produced during the object-oriented analysis. In OOD, concepts in the analysis model which are technology independent are mapped onto implementing classes, constraints are identified and interfaces are designed resulting in a model for the solution domain. That is, a detailed description of how the system is to be built on concrete technologies. The implementation details generally includes restructuring the class data if it is necessary, implementation of methods that is internal data structures and algorithms, implementation of controls and implementation of associations. The Grady book has defined object-oriented design as a method of design encompassing the process of object-oriented decomposition and a notation for depicting both logical and physical as well as a static and dynamic model of the system under design. Next, we are going to discuss about the object-oriented programming. The object-oriented programming OOP is a programming paradigm based upon objects that is having both data and methods and it aims to incorporate the advantages of modularity and the reusability. Objects which are usually instance of a classes 
are used to interact with one another to design application and computer programs. The important features of object-oriented programming are bottom-up approach in program design, programs organized around objects and grouped in classes, focus on data with methods to operate upon objects data, interaction between objects through functions, reusability of design through creation of new classes by adding features to existing classes, and some examples of object-oriented programming language which includes C++, Java, Smalltalk, Delphi, C Sharp, Perl, Python, Ruby, PHP, etc. The Grady book has defined object-oriented programming as a method of implementation in which programs are organized as cooperative collection of objects each of which represents an instance of some class and whose classes are members of a hierarchy of classes united via inheritance relationships. So my dear students, in this lecture we had discussed three basic concepts in object-oriented programming. The first one was Object-Oriented Analysis OOA, which is a procedure of identifying software engineering requirements and developing software specifications in terms of a software system object model, which comprise of interacting object. And secondly, we had discussed about the Object-Oriented Design or OOD, which involves the implementation of a conceptual model produced during the object-oriented analysis. In OOD, concepts in the analysis model which are technologically independent are mapped onto implementing classes, constraints are identified and interfaces are designed resulting in a model for the solution domain. And thirdly, we had discussed about the object-oriented programming or OOP which is a programming paradigm based upon the objects that aim to incorporate the advantages of modularity and reusability. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The assignment question is, write in detail about the following. Firstly, object-oriented analysis. Second one is object-oriented design. And third one is object-oriented programming. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss about the object-oriented model. So my dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.